Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me for this quick little flow and get your day going right. All right, so first thing we're going to do is come on over to your hands and knees. If you have a little blanket if you need, or just set that off to the side. Go ahead and first tuck your toes underneath and come onto your hands with your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. First thing we'll do is a little cat and cow. It's like this. You melt your heart, lift your head with your tailbone, and look up. And then round through your spine, put your chin and your chest, and your tailbone under. So you inhale as you melt your heart, lift your head with your tailbone, and then exhale, round into the cat pose. Inhale, into cow. Exhale, into cat. So we'll do this for a few more breaths, just syncing up your breath with the movement. And starting to move the energy along the spine. You inhale and exhale. You inhale and exhale. All right, do one more. Inhale, melt your heart, lift your head, lift your tail, and then exhale, round it up. All right, come to a neutral spine. Then you're going to let, extend your left leg back and your right arm forward. So your right arm's reaching out, your left leg's reaching back, hugging everything in towards the midline for balance. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, round, bring your elbow in towards your knee. Inhale, reach and stretch. So think of cow pose. You still are doing the arch that direction. And then as you round the cat pose, you bring your elbow in towards your knee and round the spine that way. <laughs> then inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale around. So it might be a little tricky with the balance, but that's what we're working on. It's a little bit of core strength. You might not even realize that. Okay, do one more. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale around. Reach and stretch. And then lower your right hand and your left knee down. Now extend your right leg back and your left arm forward. And we'll do this five times. Take a deep breath in. Exhale around. Elbow in towards your knee. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, round. Now, if your left toes are tucked, it'll make it a little easier to balance and stay stable. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. If your foot's flat, it'll be a little bit more of a challenge. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. And one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Okay, inhale, reach and stretch. And then lower your hand down, lower your knee down, and then sit back into child's pose. So your hips will come back at your heels. Your arms stay out in front of you. You get a nice stretch for the front of your ankles, your knees. And this can also be nice and relaxing. You can make a pillow with your hands and rest your head down. You can pop your fists and rest your head. Uh, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so this is a quick little flow, so we won't spend too much time there. But at any time, you can pause the video and then take a rest. So come back down to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Alright, so this first downward dog, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, then bend your left knee, straighten your right, and then pedal your feet back and forth a couple of times. Alright, and then I want you to walk your hands all the way back to meet your feet at the back of your mat. Here's where you have a sweatshirt, you want to take it off? <laughs> Go ahead and take that off. You need to take your shirt off, put your head back on. All right. And then just keep hanging out here in the forward fold. Maybe interlace your hands behind your back. That feels good. Put your hands over. Maybe you reach over. You grab opposite elbows. Just going to let your head hang. Rock side to side. All right. And then uh, take one more breath. And exhale, lower your hands down. You might want to widen your feet a little bit and then lower down into a squat. So this feels a lot more enjoyable if you can get your heels down. And if you can't, just keep working, keep practicing. You'll get there someday. Maybe not, but keep practicing. So have your toes maybe pointed out to the side. That will make this a little bit more accessible. Maybe even widening your stance a little bit more to help you get your heels down. And we'll just uh, breathe through whatever you're feeling. So we'll be here for a few more breaths, but I like to do those two poses in, in, uh, in succession, the forward fold and the squat. They do a really nice job of kind of getting the body ready and uh, opening up the, the hips and the back in a nice way. All right, so if you can do each one of those for a, a minute each day, it'll, it'll have a nice effect on you. Just forward fold a little 
pull as well like this. All right, plant through your palms, straighten your legs, and then you rag all, all the way up. Bring your hands up your body, and then when you come up to standing, pull your shoulders up by your ears, and back and down your back. We'll do that a couple more times, so the shoulders will go forward, up by your ears, back and down your back, and again, forward, up, Back. So you're standing up nice and straight, nice and tall, with shoulders back, and your heart open. Leaning with your heart. Stand up tall, take a big breath in. Open your mouth, big sigh. All right, now let's walk up to the top of the mat. This next sequence will warm up warm all the major muscle groups in your body. You will inhale, reach your arms forward and up, and exhale, swan back down to the earth. Inhale, step your right foot back to the back of the mat. Lower your knee down, flatten your foot, and then reach the arms up. And then circle them back around. Do that two more times. Forward, opening up your shoulders back and down. And one more time. Up, back, and down. And then walk your hands forward. And then straighten your left leg back. Pull your toes back. Do a little calf and hamstring stretch. Let the back of the knee stretch out. Inhale. Exhale. And then bend back into the front knee. Tuck your back toes. Plant your palms. Lift the back knee. And step back to downward dog. All right. From downward dog, you're going to inhale the right leg into the air behind you. And then as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. Strengthening your core. And then step the foot in between your hands. You might need to Use your right hand to add the foot up there. Lower the left knee down. Flatten the back foot. Inhale and reach the arms forward and up. And then take your hands behind the back and see about interlacing your fingers. So if you can't interlace your fingers, just pull your shoulders back. If you can interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades together and then soften into the, the front knee, stretching its left psoas muscle. In the front of the hip flexor, in front of the thigh. Take another breath in. Exhale, release the hands around the front foot and then straighten the right leg back. Give your right leg a little bit of a, an awakening here. All right, inhale. Exhale, and then bend into your front knee, touch your toes, lift the knee, and then step forward to the top of your mat. From here, you'll inhale, lift up halfway, and exhale, fold to stay facing forward. I'm just going to look towards you. Then inhale, reach the arms forward and up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Now we'll do the left side. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, dive down to the earth. Inhale, the left foot steps back to the back of the mat. Lower your knee down. Flatten your back foot. Then inhale, reach the arms up. This time you're going to exhale, bring your elbows out to the side. Inhale, press into the right foot slightly. Lean up, touch the, touch the palms. And exhale, elbows to the side. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows to the side. Lower your hands down. Surround your front foot. Straighten the right leg back. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So the breath is going to be your most important factor. Just remember that. Nice smooth inhales. Nice smooth exhales as you go through your practice. Then bend into your front knee. Tuck the back toes. Plant your palms around your front foot. Lift the back knee and then step back into downward dog. All right, stay here for a breath in. And for breath out, we're working in a deepening your breath. Now inhale, left leg into the air behind you. Exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. And then step the foot all the way through between your hands. Lower the right knee down. Flatten your back foot. And inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, take your hands behind your back, switch the interlacing of the fingers. So it might feel a little awkward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and soften with your front knee. Now, if you're beginning stages and you haven't yet been able to interlace your hands behind your back, that's fine. Okay, don't judge yourself, don't be hard on yourself. Yoga is a practice, okay? It's just all about making yourself feel better. Physically, mentally, emotionally, there's so many great benefits to this practice. Release the hands around your front foot. Then straighten your leg back. So it's a practice, right? A practice for life. Just trying to get a little bit better each day. Feel a little bit better each day. Be a little bit nicer each day, right? The 
One more breath in. One more breath out. And then bend into your front knee, tuck your back toes, inhale, lift the knee, and we'll step forward to the top of the mat. From here, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, reach the arms out and up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right. So now we're going to come back down onto to the mat. Okay, so come on down onto your, uh, onto your back for the next little thing we're going to do. Okay? So hug your knees in toward your chest. And um, first thing we're going to do is a little bit of core work. Okay? Everybody stay here. Straighten your legs all the way up. Now this one again is going to work the transverse abdominal muscles. It's my favorite little core exercise I've been doing lately. You slowly lower the right leg down. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap the heel to the earth and just as slowly bringing it up, keeping this left leg straight up. One, two, three, four, five. Now the left leg slowly lowers down. Five, four, Three, two, one. Tap the heel to the earth. And bring it up. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. <laughs> Keep both legs fully flexed. Slowly lower the right leg down. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap the heel down. And just to slowly bring it up. One, two. Engaging your core. Three. Four, five, now the left leg slowly lowers down. Five, four, three, two, one, and just to slowly bring it up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's two. Let's go another one. Inhale on the right leg, slowly lowers down. Four, three, two, one, bring it up. One, two, three, four, five. Left leg slowly lowers. Five, four, three, two, one. And just slowly bring it up. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's three. We'll do two more. Right leg slowly lowers. So we're going to do this. This is a short practice. You can do this on a regular basis. If you do this three or four times a week, you will notice a tremendous improvement in your, in your life, in your quality of your life, and in your, in your yoga practice. Left leg, your body's going to feel better. Your mind's going to feel better as you open up, as you stretch out a little bit more, as you build strength and build balance. So many amazing things will be happening. The right leg slowly lowers down. Last round. So the problem is a lot of people do yoga once a week or once every now and then and you don't really experience all of those great benefits. My teacher, Julie Rader, would always say it's better to do you know, 15 minutes, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, five days a week than you know, 90 minutes once a week, twice a week. All right, so I hope you've done five on each side. Hug your knees in if you haven't. We'll build up to it. <laughs> it looks a lot easier than it is, right? All right, hug your knees to the outside of your chest for... Uh, a little relief, and then see if you can grab the outside edges of your feet for happy baby pose. Pour the knees down to the outside of your shoulders, and rest. So now you can expand this practice into uh, as long as you want. You can do that first little series that we did. Um, we only did one round, but you can do that um, you know, multiple times. You can do more core. So all of these you can you know, add on to. Release your feet, lift your legs up. And then just one last time, thinking about your core, strong navel towards your spine, slowly bring both legs down to the earth. Keep on going. Three, two, it's really hard here. One, and release. All right, nice. Now walk your hands in. So we just strengthen the core. Now we're going to stretch it out by stretching the back. So walk your feet in. The heels are up by the hips. Tuck your shoulders underneath your back. And then press through your heels and lift your hips up into bridge pose. So your options here are either pressing down through your hands, or some of you may be able to interlace your fingers behind your back. Press through your heels, lift the hips up, and breathe. We're only doing this one time, so 
Make it a good one. Press through your heels. Lift your hips up even higher if you can. One more breath in. One more breath out. And then release the hands on top the shoulders. Slowly lower the back down. One vertebra at a time. Tuck the tailbone so the hips come down last. And then when you're here, take the soles of your feet together. And let your knees come out to the side. All right, so stretching the inner thighs, the inner part of the, the hips. We'll stretch the front of the hip. Now we're stretching the inner part of the hip. And next, we'll stretch the outer hip. Okay? So a couple more breaths here. Just relaxing your hands. Either maybe one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Feels good. I like to put my arms over my head so the elbows are in the shape, same shape as my knees. That feels pretty good. Just breathe here. You don't really have to effort in this pose. You just get yourself in position and the gravity does the work. The gravity is helping to pull my knees down. And open up my shoulders and chest. Okay, a couple more breaths. Again, you can stay in this much longer, but we're short on time. We're going to Bring the hands down to the outside of the hips, or outside of the thighs. Bring your knees in and together. And now you're going to take your right leg and cross your ankle just over your left knee, making this little four shape. And then lift the, the, the foot off the ground, the left foot off the ground, and then slide your hands through. So one hand drives behind the back of the hamstring, the other hand reaches it, heats it. And then you can pull that in, or maybe you can reach the front of your shin and pull that in. You should feel this in the outer outer right hip. So this is a great for a beginner, great for if you're just kind of getting started and you have some tight hips. If you want a little deeper variation, there's the pigeon pose, which is my personal favorite. So you bring the right knee, I'll show you from this way. You bring the right knee to the outside of the right wrist and your left leg behind you. Okay? So uh, this is where you're going to be. And then you might be here on your hands, maybe going on to your forearms, and we'll be here for a little bit of time. So just breathe. This is a pose also that can feel really intense and when you first start, and then as you notice you're in this pose for a little bit of time, it softens up and it opens up. But many people have tight hips. I was with a guy yesterday just saying how tight his hips were. He's about half my age. He did really well, bro. <laughs> so it helps. Um, so we'll be here for a couple more breaths and we'll get into the next shot. So if you're in pigeon pose, great. Um, if you're in pigeon pose, you're going to tuck your toes and come back up to, uh, to down a dog for a couple of breaths. If you're in on your back, the thread you have the needle, just release the legs and give them a little shake. And we'll come on to the other side. So take your left ankle below your, your right knee. If you're in pigeon pose, you're going to bring your left knee forward, get set up on that side. But on this side, you're going to bring the right foot off the ground and then thread your arms through. You can hold here on your hamstring or the front of the shin. And like I said, for pigeon pose, you will bring your left knee to the outside of your left wrist. Your, your heels angle down towards your groin, and then your right leg just walks it back. And then roll down. Second side of the pigeon on this side. Okay? So I'll hang out here with you on your back. Those of you that, that did the first variation, right the eye needle. Because I believe this is more accessible if you're just getting started in yoga. This is a little bit easier to, to manage. So you can kind of manage it yourself. The more you pull the knee in, the more you'll feel it in this left hip. You want to keep this right or this left foot flexed along with the knees bit because that's going to help protect your knee ligament when you pull, pull it in. Also, if you have uh, uh, knee issues, this is a, a much better pose to do pigeon. The, the one on your on your belly is much more intense as you as you're feeling if you're doing that. Okay, so this is a great intro right here. We got about three more breaths. All right, release the, the leg. If you're in pigeon pose, come back to downward dog. If you're on your back, extend both legs up. If you're in pigeon pose, come back down onto your, to your knees. So if you're in pigeon pose, you're going to come back down onto your knees and then spin onto your backs. And we'll all be on our backs together. Okay? 
So from your back, hug your knees in. And keep the left knee hugged in and extend your right leg out. Place your left foot on your right thigh and use your right hand to guide the knee over to the right. So scoot your hip under if you need to to get the knee down and then your left arm goes out to the left at about a 45 degree angle. And we have universal twist. So this stretches more major muscle groups than any other pose. So I'd love to finish off with this one. Okay. We'll take a couple breaths here and your twist. Again, any of these poses you can hang out in for, for longer if you do more. But in the interest of time, I just want to give you a little uh, a short little practice that you can do on a regular basis. Kind of gets, gets you all around opened up. Loosened up. So go, roll onto your back, hug the left knee in, circle the foot around a couple of times, and then extend your left leg out. Walk your right foot in, hug your right knee in towards your chest. Place the foot onto the thigh and use your left hand to twist your knee over to the left. And then your right arm is going to reach out to the leg. Hang on here. Slowly return onto your back. Hug your right knee in, circle the foot around, loosen up the ankle, and then extend the leg out. Okay, so then let's readjust ourselves. Give your knees one more hug in towards your chest. Just to balance everything out. And if you need anything else to complete your practice, go for it. Otherwise, extend your legs out. And extend your arms down side to side, alongside your body. Take a few breaths here. In Shavasana. So typically after a, a full you know, hour or 75 minute or 90 minute yoga practice, you'll take a, a five minute Shavasana. We'll just be here for about a minute, just kind of give you a little uh, chance to rest and relax before you move on. Shavasana is a very important pose. It's going to complete everything and get your, your body and your mind out. That's great. Now that that's not your balance. Okay. So feel free to stay here for much longer if you wish. If you'd like to move on with your day, hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll over to the right hand side. Press yourself up to sitting. Well, hopefully you're able to sit a little bit more easily now from doing a little bit of a yoga practice. And if you can, great. So sit up nice and tall, gently close your eyes. And a couple breaths here in a seated meditation. about how you want to feel today. Put your hands together at your heart, bow your head towards your hands, have a beautiful rest of your day. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Turn the corners of your lips up into a smile, blink open the eyes. See you next time. Namaste.